The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. It doesn't matter where you're at as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we've got a big bounce. Volume was fairly light early in the day. We're going to take another look. Uh, come on. Move out of the way there. Um, we've got some decent volumes, a little lighter than yesterday, 6.6 uh, billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape. And if you're ever wondering uh, what uh, I look at, uh, I'll be glad to give you the link. Just email me at path at tfnn.com. Uh, we were looking for a bounce. We've got the bounce today. Uh, what I dislike about it is that the market has pretty much headed south. Every time we have uh, the TLT wanting to tank, uh, the low of the day was uh, 143.46, printing 143.90 right now in the TLT, and that's the 10, 20 year bond combination. Good one to keep an eye on. So uh, I would be more on the resident side of getting out why the getting is good. Uh, if some miracle uh, happens and we see the TLT get back up above 145, 145 and a half. I think the rally can persist. Um, if I just look at the TLT uh, today, da, 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 get it up here, please. Um, it continues to look a lot. Uh, let me clean this up here a little bit for you. Uh, continues to look a lot more like uh, it's going to go down and get that uh, uh, 148 no matter what. Or, uh, yeah, 138, excuse me. Um, let's go back a little farther here. That gap, and there we go. Let's get just a little bit more room here. There we go. Uh, that gap up happened on June 8th. Uh, with 11 million shares. Uh, but my guess is that's where support comes back in. Um, we had the opportunity to break back above the downtrend and gave it up today. We closed almost above it two days ago. Uh, on Friday, uh, yesterday, actually did close right at the downtrend line. Uh, today, it started heading down. I thought the, they'd get pretty active at the Treasury and the Fed and uh, prop uh, bonds up a bit. But um, no, it looks like uh, we've had uh, one big gap uh, down that started on the 23rd of September. We had the second big gap down on the 28th of September. My guess is we're going to get one more big gap down now. Um, I thought maybe the Fed would get, maybe the Treasury guys would all get going with it, but new, net, uh, nada, goose eggs. Um, I think it's right now, unless they do something fairly significant over the next day or so, I suspect that we're going to, you know, you may get the Fed money and it may come into the equities a bit, but the overall broad indexes are going to be uh, very tough to keep up if the TLT keeps heading lower. 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 Uh, give me a call today, 877-927-6648. And see what else we have. Uh, I knew I had it somewhere here. Okay. Yeah, I'll find it eventually. But, uh... Yeah. Can't find it at the moment. Um, we'll uh, go ahead, though. Anyway, um, if there's two things, it's uh, bonds, James Bonds, 
since he's coming out this week. Uh, Taiwan, Taiwan, and Taiwan. Of course, uh, I thought the Chinese would try to lay off. They went back at it again, uh, flying over the uh, island nation of Taiwan. Um, interesting. I thought that they probably had rest, uh, rattled the sabers. Uh, this is all, of course, a vacation week for everybody in China. And I don't know if that's part of it. Um, but uh, and continuing to do this probably will make the resolve of many of the others out there, Japan and Australia, primarily and a lot of the small nations, uh, worried about the... Uh, uh, eh, kind of the Japanese version, uh, although this time it would be with China of World War II, where they continue to just eat up all the uh, countries anywhere close to them for their precious uh, um, natural resources and uh, eh, just the control they get. Um, but uh, that's kind of it at the moment. So I'm keeping a very close eye on the TLT, uh, but that would be it. Um, yeah, do we have kind of a bounce, a little higher? I'm just glad that I'm kind of out of uh, all my long positions except one, uh, which will continue to do better uh, the more that the Chinese uh, get military-like. Um, again, that's kind of it. Let's uh, do a little history, and then we'll move on uh, to the rest of the show as we go on. I already did that. I did that. Stop that. Here we and go. it's all just a little bit of history repeating. During the War of 1812, a combined British and Native uh, American forces defeated by General Harrison's, soon to be a president, uh, American Army at the Battle of Thames in Ontario, Canada. The leader of the Na uh, Native forces was Tecumseh, the Shawnee chief who organized intertribal resistance uh, to the encroachment of the white settlers on the native lands. He was killed in the fighting. And of course, uh, this is when uh, our friends to the north came down and burned our White House. Uh, Canadians. Got to watch them very closely. Anyway, uh, that's kind of it. Just uh, decided to be kind of a big pain and uh, eh, we had to chase him down, I guess. Uh, you don't want to be on the losing side, I guess, is the lesson of today. Uh, we'll get to the rest of the stocks that are moving out here, though. Keep a close eye. Um, up 64 points on the S&P. Uh, Dow up uh, 439. Uh, NASDAQ up 240. Uh, what was the Russell here? Up 12. Uh, gold uh, was down like about 12 bucks earlier, down 5 bucks. Uh, crude oil, 79.14. Um, probably more, one of the more interesting ones since uh, that's a very artificially high price mostly because of uh, uh, the current political view of fossil fuels. Uh, it could easily be 50 bucks uh, they let it. Big tax on the lowest uh, income uh, earners in the United States. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, the market already in progress at 63, yeah, 64 points, uh, at probably a fairly decent resistance level. Uh, you'd like to see about 12 billion shares today. We'll see what that does. Of course, you can always email me at path at tfnn.com. And uh, I just remembered the, the uh, parody version of the War of 1812 song. And that was the uh, where the kids or the boys from Camp Kungamanga. Man, I remember that now. That was kind of like a what was that guy's name on Sunday night that used to play the weird songs? Uh, Doctor Demento. That's what it was. Uh, anyway, uh, what else do we have going on here? That's Kit. Let's go ahead and get uh, looking at some charts already. We looked at uh, that. Um, The um, I was very interested in how the market would react uh, when they found out that uh, that there is a possible uh, strike going on uh, for everybody in film production, film movie production. Um, huge move here today, and I don't know if that's going to last or if that was just running the shorts out before it. Uh, but the union voted with 90 percent uh, of uh, the uh, union members uh, voting, 98 percent to strike. So they, this may not be as easy as everybody had, but it seems like the market, if you find something that has a weakness, everybody wants to buy it even before the weakness has shown up. But certainly a big day, but not a lot of volume at Netflix. Um, see if there's anything going on with Disney on that. They haven't uh, actually struck yet. They just voted to let them strike. Um, maybe more of an issue for the newer uh, streamers like Walt Disney that need a lot more content than Netflix that has a lot of content made. And uh, the other thought I have is maybe they it bounced on the thought that they wouldn't be spending any money because that's what they kind of got beaten up over for the last quarters in Netflix. Uh, Disney, uh, up a little bit again. Very, very light volume up here. And uh, did I do this? I can't remember if I did this, but I had a request. Dave's not here! 
Yes, I am. So just to say that. Uh, got a few more questions about NVIDIA, N-V-I-D-E. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, we're back here to where you would want to buy. Again, um, bounce on fairly light volume. You're going right into the downtrend uh, on NVIDIA. You got uh, 20 million shares, a little less than that, against 34 to the downside yesterday. And it's just hard for me to believe that no matter what anybody's saying, uh, even though this is a little bit on sale, that everybody isn't worried about uh, Taiwan Semiconductor and uh, being invaded by the Chinese. Um, a lot of people think that they would probably sabotage a lot of the machines um, in production there. And if they did, it may be several years before we start seeing any kind of quantity of any semis. There just won't be a shortage. There will be a blight on all of it. Um, and yeah, you just never know. But uh, I think these semiconductors, although supply is okay, demand is great, uh, the worry of uh, waking up one day and just seeing the Chinese uh, all swimming over to Taiwan to take it over after uh, Chiang Kai-shek. I always like saying that. Chiang Kai-shek. Can't even say it now. Uh, King, is it King? I can't remember now. Anyway, uh, all the capitalists ran off to the island while the communists uh, took over the rest of the country. Uh, and, of course, it uh, bloomed a lot faster than China did. Uh, China's trying to catch up and uh, go over there and borrow their neighbor's uh, goods and wares. Just don't want the uh, land. They want all that uh, ability to make semiconductors. Uh, to rule and imprison uh, the rest of the world. Doesn't look like they're wanting it for any good purpose. Uh, anyway, uh, NVIDIA, nice little bounce up today. Uh, you got a couple of them that are up. Uh, AMD, I was thinking AMD would do better. It is above uh, the downtrend line. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of weakness here. Uh, with the TLT up, I don't want to be... Um, really pushing it uh, now that we've had the bounce. In fact, I got out of uh, the last uh, long position that had to do with uh, semis this morning uh, and want to stay rather loose. In fact, I'm kind of on the side of being a bit bearish here just on that uh, TLT. So we'll keep a close eye on it. Um, but, uh, yeah, we see a nice uh, run into the close on the TLT I suspect that gives us all the information we need to know. Uh, without some kind of major intervention, we're probably going to 138 on the TLT. Uh, advanced micro, as we said, uh, up on light volume, which doesn't make you feel good. We'll see what the end of the day comes in. We have almost nothing in earnings. And uh, the uh, Chinese uh, markets uh, all closed until Friday, so not much going on there. This may be one of the reasons why all the action uh, is happening, uh, why the markets are closed uh, for China. They may all stop on Thursday night, hopefully. Uh, but uh, that continues it. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the SMHs real quick. Um, we've been looking at these things kind of uh, trying to break through the lows of the uptrend on the bottom side of the SMH. Uh, you had a lot of volume yesterday with 4.8 million shares. You got about 2.5 million shares so far. Still hasn't broken above the downtrend either. You may have one more day up on that. Uh, to, to, to. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, Facebook was getting a grill in earlier this morning. Didn't have a chance to watch it, uh, but they were back in front of Congress. Uh, I think everybody's trying to defend it now um, on Wall Street. I heard a, a, some fairly uh, uh, unrobust uh, thinking uh, running around about uh, it doesn't matter on Facebook. But, you know, reputational uh, 
points, goodwill still mean for something. And uh, these guys have a whole lot of nothing. And uh, they also may have a, an opening now uh, to dig into uh, more of the emails and find some stuff that uh, may be in context, may be out of context, but will be used out of context no matter what uh, to make uh, Facebook eh, try to get away from going after a, a kid's version of Facebook specifically. Uh, just a spinning top inside day so far for Facebook. The volume's about half of uh, what it was yesterday. Um, you know, this isn't anywhere close to breaking back above a trend line down and probably going to be beat on for a while. We'll be back after this. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, a question, uh, should you get Windows 11? We talked about this, I don't know, two weeks ago. Uh, if you've got, uh, it's a free upgrade. Don't have to worry about it. Support for Windows 10 continues for four years from today. Uh, at that time, uh, there will be no support anymore for reinstallation and or security upgrades at all. And if you're familiar with the way Microsoft works, probably within a year, um, they're not going to spend a lot of time. They'll, they'll, the worst offending security issues will get an update for Windows 10. 
but they'll have moved on as many people have. But uh, I still haven't got my uh, trusted platform module, although I ordered it some time ago. Probably not going to be around till the 20th of October. I don't see any reason to upgrade without it um, and let them get some of the early bugs fixed. Uh, probably one of the biggest reasons for Microsoft pushing out Windows 11 is they can have new laptops that look a little bit faster, uh, neater, cleaner, uh, more Mac-like is what a lot of people are saying. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we came down on some fairly decent volume, even after the discussions of, of, uh, of the buyback. Uh, but on the uh, 28th of September, you had 43 million shares down. Today, you're up on about 15 million shares so far. Uh, still, could you get another two, three bucks out of this? Uh, you could. I'm not a big fan of uh, being short this. Or a lot of other companies can be a lot worse off if uh, the market starts heading lower. But uh, certainly, maybe a couple more bucks uh, would be where the next ABC down could set up to the extent that they don't buy shares back. Uh, okay. Uh, just looking to see if anything else is going on here that really makes me want to go hum. But not, so we'll go through the rest of the usual suspects today. Um, Amazon continues to come down. We've been waiting for a long time uh, for this gap at 3,400. Uh, when it came down, we were thinking that it, these gaps uh, down below at just under 3,200 would be the ones uh, that would uh, start to get challenged. Uh, certainly, we hit that yesterday. Um, not a lot of volume, but certainly more than the August 20th low in Amazon. Um, the gap up was only 3.3 million shares. That goes back to uh, May 14th. And you had another big day, 4.6. It's not a blowout. Um, I think a lot of people are expecting the shortages for Christmas to continue, and therefore Amazon probably not doing as well as it did a year ago dist on supply constraints from a, a great deal of different products. So I think that's kind of the thought right now. Um, you know, when those things ease, if they do, um, and we're not in World War III with China over uh, them taking over Taiwan, uh, kind of a big thing. But, uh, you know, I think someone told me some 60% of everything Amazon sells comes from China. Um, that's always a big risk in a company uh, of that size uh, to have everything coming, or not everything, but most everything coming for something. Uh, oh, on, oh, on. So we're on with oh, on. I guess if I can. Ah, uh, didn't quite make it over to the M. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at this one. Okay. Um, distribution sports products worldwide. It offers its products through independent retailers online based out of Switzerland. Company was uh, founded in 2010, headquartered in Zurich, Switzerland, a place that I have been. Uh, the uh, broadcasting convention was always in Montreux, Switzerland, in the middle of the summer. And it's damn hot there. And you couldn't get a hotel with an air conditioner there. That was in the 90s. I don't know what was wrong with them, but uh, talk about hot and miserable. Although on Lake Montreux. But uh, all I remember is being hot and miserable and uh, being stuck with uh, the, uh, um, the uh, guy that ran the uh, English, uh, the England office in Surrey and him just sawing logs. I got no sleep in four days and I went home. Uh, to, 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 what else? Okay. Um, don't see. Yeah, it's up today. You got no volume, though. Um, again, I don't know a lot. It's based in Switzerland. You, I, you know, if any stock today, 
I would worry about the supply chain, and I don't know enough about this one or the supply chain to Switzerland. My guess is everything's being made in China, too, or made at least in Malaysia or Vietnam, if it's clothing. So I'd keep an eye on it. Maybe it's made in India. Yeah, anyway, uh, it hasn't broken above uh, the 3x3. Three three. Uh, it really just kind of fell there, so you're up against resistance. Uh, any pop above that, um, you'd probably want a little bit of a pullback. And then the next pop-up might be what moves if the broad market does, too. Up 67 on the S&P cash. Okay. Getting ready to go challenge the lows again in CLT. We'll do a drive-by on it real quick. Um, 143.46. The only thing you can say about today is low volume so far in the TLT. That September 28th low, 143.46. What's the low of the day here? 143.46. Um, so we've tested the low. Got lighter volume, 12 million shares. But I don't know if it's going to matter a lot if it closed at these lows once again. So, uh, again, we'll keep an eye on it. But uh, it's dancing around all over the lows. It may not be a good close for the TLT. Okay. How do I get back? Eh. Okay. Let's go back and look at some other stuff. Uh, do you feel any different about Twitter? Um, most of these socials have the exact same problem that Facebook has. Um, Twitter has a bigger problem in that it has the same kind of over reaching problems that Facebook has without all the great monetization. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you had a uh, beer commercial, this would be the less filling of here. You had more volume uh, yesterday than you had on September 13th. Uh, and you have a little bounce. Um, I thought at best this is a $38 stock, and I've thought about it for a long time. Uh, when it went to $80.75 back there, if I'm not mistaken, that was one of the times there was a big lie about what they were going to do. Uh, the move back up to 73.34 was yet another big lie about how they were going to make a bunch of money in subscriptions. Um, I don't think that anybody's going to believe much of what they have to say in the near term, other than if they're making a lot of money. We're going to have to bring it. We'll be back after. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return... Got a call from Andre in Colorado. Wants yeah, to talk hey, about. Dave? He wants to talk about there, Tesla. Dave? How you doing today, Andre? Oh, I'm doing great. I just wanted to compliment. I love your program. I listen to it every day. I'm a professional trader, and I made some money off some of your stuff. So, I was just wondering if you could set up Tesla for me using your methodology. I see a nice double top conventional. Technical analysis, uh, swing point around six, I think 670, 665. And, uh, or, or is it seven? I'm sorry, seven, uh, 65. It's at, at 800. I'm looking to go uh, short. I'm looking at a target down to 670. So could you set up, uh, see what you think on Tesla? Yeah, um, you've got, uh, you've got a very, well, I wouldn't say extremely, uh, but you've got a fairly uh, unenergetic leg up from the uh, 546.98. Um, mm -hmm. You tested the previous uh, high on really, what, 50 million to 30 million? Probably right. a good round. I'm kind thing. of looking at the daily, the daily little double top on, the, on just the, like month or two months. I see that you have on. You know, a, a huge, uh, yeah, you see yeah. the little, yeah, the double top. Uh, yeah. I, well, it, and what I, I like is the light is energy the from this low. Or, I've got it in my power here. law vector. Here's what I dislike and why I haven't pulled the trigger on this yet. Uh -huh. On the uh, 29th and 30th, um, people started getting froggy and started getting uh, the uh, short interest in the daily at about 18, 19%, which is nothing compared to a couple of years ago. But uh -huh. we only got 13% uh, short sellers yesterday in it. And so I'm not really kind of surprised that we don't have a lot going on on this today. Um, yeah, I'd like a it to break. Today, didn't it, Dave? It, 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 somewhat of a reversal. It was up uh, 10. Now it's uh, unchanged or down a little. Hey, I, I call it a spinning a top. On, possible today? I call it a spinning top, which uh -huh. isn't a whole lot of right. anything. Um, right. Generally, what I want is Remote. some kind of pattern develop up there that tells you it's okay. Um, and I would say that the first part of that would be a close below a three by three. Uh, let's look at some of the bigger, longer ones here. Let's go to seven by five. I mean, you almost need 10 bucks down to get any kind of uh, uh, selling started on right. this significantly so my guess is that there's going to be something going on here maybe it's a news story uh you're gonna to have to be fast fingered on they don't give you a lot of opportunity to get in and out of this stuff depending on what's going on right. but you know i like the setup i like the fact that there's a ton of new evs coming out that they'll have to compete with uh, most right. of those evs will be getting a uh a uh a, a, a incentive uh, that you won't be able to get with the Teslas because each right. company only gets, I don't know, whatever, so much money. Tesla ran out of that a long time ago. 
Uh, so that you could literally make these things fairly, uh, you could have a good one. Um, I'm thinking, you know, it's got to be the pickup that's really going to kick Tesla. And we've got a couple of right. them being shown. And I've been waiting to see. I, I know that the uh, Rivian, I think the first one for sale came off the line last week. Um, I'm waiting for just to start seeing some, you know, news articles on it that aren't, you know, deep inside trading. Uh, kind of more mm -hmm. general stuff of the Rivian, uh, of the Ford F-150, of some of these other ones. Biggest problem, I think, right now for uh, the short on Tesla is uh, the same problem that Tesla had, which is cars burning up. Uh, General Motors batteries are having problems. Uh, so, you know, Tesla still has some problems. They've been able to mitigate some of it, but not all of it, a great deal of it. Uh, the other car company is going to have to go through that same kind of teething pain. And I think I'm a, tech, just, I'm a technician, Dave. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I'm thinking the. Oh, Did you just fall off? Uh, yeah, just I was just I was going to mention that I'm a, I'm a technician. The fundamentals. Uh, that's all I know is Tesla wasn't invited to that AV uh, conference. Yeah. Um, and and what what does that mean? <laughs> I don't think it means invited to the EV uh, conference. I don't think it means a whole lot other than the rest of the car companies hate them because they don't have unions and um, uh, you know they sell direct. So it's you know there's a lot of the in political infighting. I think the problem mm -hmm. becomes much tougher uh, when you can actually buy a car that you can trade in. I think a lot of people will just go for that. They're not going to worry about keeping their old car and selling it. Um, I see. I see. And especially with about the confluence levels. Look at the, the beautiful uptrend. No doubt about it. Tesla's a cult stock. They're buying it, you know, for whatever reason. But look at all the different confluence levels that can be done with the A1s, A2s. Just using the, the pivot point way down there, uh, you can look at 38% retracement, 50%. So I'm, I'm thinking, oh, so I'm, well, did, I did mean, did you hear me, Dave? Yeah, you cut out a little bit. For me, okay. The, well, the I'm big... just saying is the confluence level. So you look at the, you know, you can do the retracements, you know, double top on the small and the big uptrend. Uh, and there, yeah, there you've got the, it looks like you've got some of the uh, Fibonacci, uh, Fibonacci retracements. I need right. a thirty-eight percent retracement here uh, from uh, let's see that pivot point. Uh, yeah, one of the pivot points that uh, I can't see the exact. Uh, I think that's uh, uh, very possible. Well, yeah, and that's once, one of the uh, reasons why I've been the talking about this. It doesn't look very healthy, so I think it can come down quite uh, quite hard. I'm thinking, but and then the yeah, volume is not there on this. Uh, I think it's a nice short here, but I could be yeah, wrong. I'm I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm just playing, waiting. I'll, I'll put my stops in. <laughs> I've just always l learned on Tesla to wait uh -huh. for some day where they actually run everybody, and then it gives it up later in the day. So I'm kind of waiting for uh -huh. a bigger thing. But you're right on the confluence. But the confluence uh, for the longer term uh, goes from about uh, 547 uh, to 583. So there uh -huh. is a you know there's two hundred dollars down on this if I'm playing it. Uh, right. And that is going to be fairly decent support level. Um, mm -hmm. And you've tested it twice, 539 and uh, 546. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I think that there's some fairly nice room in it. Um, I think when I, I looked I at the options you, you yesterday. You mentioned uh, well, way back when, you think that Tesla's a $50 stock. I definitely agree with you. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it just, it, uh, it's just. I, I just see this as like the. In a way, like AOL. Remember, AOL was the biggie, yeah. and where Same is thing. it now? Yeah. So Tesla is like the AOL of, of the uh, EV. Yeah. They're, they're, they're anyway, coming. that's that's what I'm looking for. I just want a brighter signal than uh, taking a, a uh, stab. Okay, after. I guess you got to break. Hey, I love your program. Thank and, you. Uh, uh, and it, I'm, I'm not I'm not holding you down there on your test. Okay. Whatever way we'll it goes, it minute. goes.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Well, we've been hanging around here for the whole show within about two points of the S&P being up uh, 65, 67. Uh, not a whole lot happening. Uh, a little bit of fun buying coming in. The volume, though, at least through now, 7.3 billion shares. Uh, I wouldn't call it wimpy, but I wouldn't call it some kind of sign of strength either. Um, I continue to be extremely worried about the direction of bonds and the TLT specifically. Uh, 143.76. We gap down again. And that may be the next 100 points down in the S&P. So I'd be a little wary about being long. I wouldn't worry about being long in a day. Uh, but if we gap down, it'll be an overnight thing. More than likely, we're going to have some fairly significant action on Friday, starting on Thursday night in the index or in the uh, futures, as uh, China keeps uh, starts opening up again. And we start seeing what they think. Um, but we shall see. I'm just lo looking at a lot of stocks out here. Almost all of them are not bouncing uh, much at all. Uh, kind of all kind of just floating up a little bit, but nothing really showing me a big sign of strength. Uh, we shall see. But um, I think, you know, Wednesday, we got one day really to fun buying being totally over. I, for all I know, all the money's already come in already. Or we'll come in before the end of the day and not leave a whole lot in until tomorrow. 
um, they start seeing the market come up and everybody pushes their chips in. Uh, but that's kind of it. Um, the fifth is really, eh, what do you got, three days, two days? You know, maybe you get a little bit more in the morning, but I'd say we start seeing this market head lower tomorrow. The TLT below, let's we'll say it gaps down a buck. Um, I think we're going to make a beeline line to 138, 139 on the TLT, and it's going to make a giant sucking sound that Ross Perot would be very happy hearing. But of course, he's dead. So, so when you can, not when you have to, we'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.